Couples 30 Day Sex Position Challenge, How Many Kinky Acts Have You Tried? If you need a new 30 day challenge to get through the month, why not try this raunchy one? 30 day challenges tend to be fitness related, but this bedroom tick list is something we can all enjoy. A survey by Mental revealed that only 3% of couples have sex every day, while one in five couples bonk a few times a week. Which is why Ann Summers has launched the 30 day sex position challenge for April, which is couples appreciation month, encouraging pairs to rediscover each other in the bedroom. Each day presents a new sex position for couples to try with a difficulty level rating of 5. Couples can ease their way into the month with low difficulty positions, including the speed bump and missionary and work their way up to more adventurous positions with a level 5 difficulty rating, such as the butter churner and the standing 69. And if you care to spice it up that extra notch, the challenge has even provided positions which use sex toys, such as the shard and the hard lead. An Ann Summers expert said, Couples Appreciation Month is the perfect excuse to rediscover your sexual desires as a couple. From time to time we could do with reminding ourselves how hot we are for each other and spice things up again and this 30 day sex position challenge will do just that. If you can't have sex every day, save up the week's positions for some really steamy weekends. Also, don't worry if you find it difficult to recreate the positions, the challenge is designed to bring us closer, even if it does end in laughter. Appreciating your partner doesn't need to be all about lavishing them with gifts, it can be the smaller things that make a difference. For couples who already have the bedroom soothed, the lingerie brand also created a couple's appreciation guide to inspire people to make more time for each other outside the bedroom. Don't worry if you're late starting this challenge, you can always catch up. Here is the 30 day sex position challenge, day 1, the speed bump, difficulty level, 1 fifth. Lie on your front with a pillow underneath your hips as your partner supports himself behind you. For added intensity, have your partner rest his chest on your back for an intimate connection. Day 2, get it up, difficulty level, 2 fifths, from missionary position, put one leg over your partner's shoulder and rest the other on the bed, or whatever surface you find yourself on. Day 3, the running start, difficulty level, 2 fifths, get into the doggy style position with your partner's back against the wall and raise your leg. While your partner helps support your weight, you can use your leg to push against the wall and control each movement. Day 4, the shard, difficulty level 2 fifths. Lift both of your legs into the air and support yourself by holding your thighs or resting your ankles on his shoulders. During the act, push your thighs together and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles to enhance both your pleasure. Day 5, 4 on the floor, difficulty level 3.5 slash 5, get down on all fours, allowing your partner to give you oral sex from behind. He can use fingers, toys, or his tongue and you'll both enjoy the whole experience. Day 6, Joystick Joyride, Difficulty Level 3 fifths, Straddle your partner with your feet out in front and your knees slightly bent. Put your arms on his shoulders and have him grab your hips, so you both have control of the pace. Your weight on his will ensure your G-spot is stimulated with every move. Day 7, on a mission, difficulty level 1 fifth, in other words the missionary position. 
Make sure there's lots of eye contact and full body touching, this is the perfect position to show how much your partner means to you. If you like video, share for your friends. Thank you for watching.